Good evening. Tradies in a tiz over a ban on taking smoko in their tea rooms have shut city streets. But their anger over new COVID restrictions on building sites has been met with fury from workers on the virus front line. Stephanie Anderson with the latest. Staging a smoko sit-in against the government calling time on their tea rooms. Well, they want to bend the lunch rooms. We have lunch in the middle of the street. Hundreds of tradies determined they've been dealt a raw deal. Have a look around you. We built the joint, yeah? We built this joint, yeah? Blockading intersections and marching the streets. <laughs> bringing chairs, tables and lunch supplies along for the ride. Just walk salami, mate. Walk salami for the boys. Stopping trams and traffic. It's, it's ridiculous, but, you know, what can you do? I sort of tend to agree with them a little bit. Yeah, I think it's a bit over the top. It looks every bit like coordinated action. They don't want to give us site sheds, so f them. But the union is adamant it isn't. It's to make people aware of, it was a bit ridiculous how it had been done and there should have been a bit of consultation. Three new restrictions have been put on the industry. Tea rooms closing and a ban on workers travelling between metro and regional areas technically don't take effect until midnight. Mandatory first doses or proof you've booked one are required by next Friday and some aren't so sympathetic to the anger that's elicited. The people that stand behind me are working in full PPE Challenged to get a break themselves, challenged to get hydrated, challenged to get time to go to the bathroom. We all need to be a little bit humble on this and recognise the privileges that those of us who are still able to work get. Uh, and if, the, if it means you can't sit next to your mates while you're having a sandwich, that doesn't seem to be a, a, huge, a huge burden to bear. People can't sort of stand on a girder and have their morning tea. Before people go shooting their mouths off, they've got to sort of actually know what they're actually talking about sometimes. Who enforces these new rules is still very much a point of confusion across the industry, but today the job's been left up to police and it doesn't seem like this took them by surprise. They were out in numbers and fast, but it won't be the case long term as bosses on sites across the state are told it's their responsibility to ensure the entire team has had a shot. If I essentially make my employee go get vaccinated and they have an adverse effect, does the liability fall on me? They're the answers builders want. The return of tea rooms is what unions are after. Or we could see more of this on Monday. Oh, Stephanie Anderson, Nine News.